and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, then a little introduction. This is a place to share stories, adventures, and everything I wish I had known before embarking on them. My name is Drina, and you're watching from Fiji to here. Today's video is going to be a little different, still travel influenced, as you'll see throughout, but more about a life result of what traveling has brought me, my husband. Now, you may be thinking, how is my husband in any way related to travel or this channel? And boy, oh boy, if you are, then you're in for a treat. First off, if you haven't already watched the Fiji travel video, then go do that. I'll wait, it'll give you a good lead into this video. All right, now that you're caught up on the events of that video, here's the backstory that wasn't fully revealed there. If you go to minute in that video, you'll see this picture. And right there, if you just like zoom in a little, is the man you saw at the beginning of this video. Yes, that's right. My now husband was on that trip in Fiji. Now before you say, okay, big deal, you went together. In that picture there, we had no idea who one another was or what plans fate had for us. I met Dali at the LAX airport after my flight had landed from Toronto and I was meeting up with the rest of the group to head towards Fiji. I believe my first words to him were quoting the movie Mean Girls. So if you're from Africa, why are you white? Oh my God, Karen, you can't just ask people why they're white. I know, not my finest moments. From there, we got on the plane and I found myself spending the entire plane ride wondering who he was, what his childhood was like growing up in Tunisia, but it wasn't until we landed in Natty and we're headed out to dinner that we actually got the chance to start talking. And I'm gonna be honest with you here, my first impression was that he was a very charming ladies man. The British accent, the twinkle in his eye, the way he made every girl feel special. And on top of that, he was only one of five guys in a group of 40 plus women. There were a lot of girls who had a crush on him those first few days to a week. I, however, didn't think I was one of them. I mean, don't get me wrong, we were friends, but the more I got to know him, the more I enjoyed his company, his laugh, the way he made me smile, just a little look from across the room. I liked how I could be unapologetically myself. I could confide in him about my biggest aspirations and dreams and not be ridiculed, but be fully supported and encouraged. As the weeks went by and it became clear that we both liked one another, we enjoyed the time we had together, thinking that the chances of us ever meeting again after this trip were very slim. As we parted, we thought the feelings and memories would fade with time. Big surprise here, they didn't. We met up for the first time since our trip at the end of the summer where we confronted our feelings and the idea of a long distance relationship. I need to insert here that if there's anything in life that has taught me to trust the universe and that when you put things out there and work towards them, they'll come full circle, then this relationship is it. When Dali and I met up in Montreal that August, I had no money. We were aware that the soonest we could see each other would be the following year in Calgary at the Calgary Stampede. We both agreed that our feelings were strong enough to work at it to hopefully get there. The universe somehow made it possible for me to fly to Calgary in November, Dali to Halifax in January, me to Calgary in April, and then a surprise trip in June for his birthday. graduating, Dali moved to Halifax to help lessen the tension on our relationship while I could finish my schooling. The year after that, we moved into our first official apartment together, visited his family in Tunisia, got engaged, and here we are, newly married, all thanks to a three-week trip to Fiji. The 
This brand is more than just travel and this channel. It's about the love I found in Fiji. The love for travel, the love for life, the love for the friends I've made, the love for my husband, and mainly the love for myself. It's a dedication to how far I've come from the person who went on that trip. The lessons I've learned, the accomplishments and situations I've been able to overcome. This is my life, from Fiji to here, and I can't wait to see where here is next. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below, as well as any videos you'd be interested in seeing. Also, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to be notified of more like it, as well as to join me on future journeys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next destination. Bye, guys.